In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, as you sit in the comfort of your homes, we gather together in spirit to worship God. We gather to offer him our thanksgiving and praise for all he has been doing in our lives. We thank God for the gift of this day. We thank him for the gift of life. We thank him for the gift of our families. We thank him for his love, for his care, and his protection. We consecrate and dedicate each and every member of our family to the sacred heart of Jesus. We ask the Almighty God to heal our land, to rekindle our bond, our family bond, and our love for one another, and to increase our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the heart of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our brother and master, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east. For the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand. But there was now a river, though, which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river, where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many trees on both sides. And he said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Rabbah and empties into the sea, the salt waters which it makes fresh. 
Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida with five porticos. In these large in these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately, the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. The man answered him, answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you? Take it up and walk. The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there, were, there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well now. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, today, Tuesday, the 24th of March, 2020, uh, the aspect of the reading that jumps out to me right away is the responsorial psalm. The responsorial psalm says, the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Even while we have this pandemic, even in the midst of our fears and the uncertainty of what comes about tomorrow or the, our helplessness, uh, we still re-echo with the psalmist that the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. I want us to repeat this as many times as possible. Whenever doubts start coming into our mind, whenever we are afraid, remember Jesus telling us, do not be afraid. Re-echo again these words of the scripture. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Why? If you listen to the first reading of today, you realize why. In the first reading of today, Ezekiel found, uh, the prophet Ezekiel found himself in the entrance of the temple. And from that, he saw water flowing out from the entrance of the temple. And God was giving him instruction what to do. At every stage, he realized that the water was increasing. At every stage, he realized that the water was increasing. Eventually, this water became a river. And it is very remarkable to note that as this water became a river, the more it increases, the more Ezekiel was telling us what was happening to all the things that encountered this water. Jesus is using the image of water to inform us how relevant he is in our life. I remember Psalm 121 saying, From where shall my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I want you to listen again how what will happen to us when our help, when we draw our strength from the sanctuary of the Most High God, when we draw our energy from the sanctuary of the Most High God, uh, the water flow into the eastern district, down upon Araba, and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature can multiply and shall live. And there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made flesh, fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve as food, and their leaves for medicine. Why? Because it flows from the sanctuary of the Most High God. So the symbol here is when we, when we draw our strength from the sanctuary of the Most High God, when the Lord Jesus is the very center of our life, when our life revolves around Jesus, we draw strength and we grow and we increase. And the more we grow and increase, we also become a contact point of divine blessing unto others. Very remarkably, the trees that are by the bank of this river produces fruit in every season. The trees that are by the bank of this river its fruits will always be fresh, and its leaves will be medicinal. Why? Because it flows from the altar of the Most High God. So the question is, do you draw your strength 
from the altar of the Most High God. What does your life revolve around? If your life revolves around the Lord Jesus Christ, no matter how deserted things around you are, because you draw your strength from the altar of the Most High God, you remain fresh and you continue to bear fruit. And even those who have contact with you will be enriched. That's the message of the gospel. Uh, Jesus didn't just use this because, uh, you see, he just kept using the image of water in the Gospel of John that we had last Sunday, John chapter 4, verse 10. You hear Jesus saying to the Samaritan woman, the water I will give you is a living water and it will become a fountain in you. It will be a spring of living water flowing from your heart leading to eternal life. You read again John chapter 7, verse 37. You hear Jesus saying, if you're thirsty, come, and I will give you living water. And this living water is always very symbolic in our worship of God. The day we were baptized, we are baptized with water. Water is a sign of, uh, is, uh, uh, represents something that cleanses us. When we are thirsty and we drink, we are refreshed. That's what God does when he's the very source of our being. When he's the very source of our strength, he refreshes us. He cleanses us. He sustains us. My dear brothers and sisters, at these times of uh, uncertainty and fear, may your faith never fail. Remember, the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. When you draw your strength from the altar of the Most High God, you will perpetually remain fresh. And even those who come in contact with you will realize that we worship the living God. May this be our portion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Trusting in God who heals our afflictions, let us offer our prayers this day. For the church, may God help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Lord grant them the wisdom in protecting all in their care, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those with chronic illness, may Christ the healer bring them physical and spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, that during this journey of Lent we may grow in charity and love through the graces of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, and all those who have died in the light of faith, may they receive a place at the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for Mary Ann Mitchell, for whom this Holy Mass is offered, oh, apologies, for Richard Spires, for whom this Holy Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And now I will lead us in a prayer in times of pandemic. May we who are merely inconvenienced Remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have no risk factors, remember those who are most vulnerable. May we who have the luxury of working from home, remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our own children when the schools close, remember those who have no options. May we who have to cancel our trips, Remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market, remember those who have no margin at all. May we who settle in for a quarantine at home, remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose to love. During this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around one another, let us find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. Amen. Heavenly God and Father, you are faithful and kind. 
please hear and answer our prayers this day. May you strengthen our faith in you and our love for one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this, for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that comes, that brings us immortality. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our falls, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its reward through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus, in one humble, in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take bits all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, o Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and all your people Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might belong to the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace and love of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. the body of Christ. May we now pray together as I lead you in spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
my dear friends in Christ, as you gather in the comfort of your homes, remember our priority is to stay healthy. Stay home, stay safe. We are on this together. We continue to pray, and we know that the Lord God we worship will be there for us. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. O salutaris hostiam, we telepan this hostium, bella premium who hostiliam, da robo fe Unitrino que dominum, si sempiterna gloria, qui vitam si in etemino, nobis donet in patria. Tantu me go sacramentum, venere mucenui, et antiku documentum, no voce daritui, preste fide supplementum, Sensum de fetui, genitori genitoque, lause jubilasio, salus ono vitus quoque, sited benedictio. Procedenti habut roque, compassit laudatio. Amen.